<laughs> Frank the Tank is in my office today. He has flown all the way from Germany to get treated here. He would have been here two years ago, but the pandemic stopped him in his tracks. So he was on the first flight out of Europe and he's here today to share a story with you. He has over 20 years of low back pain and has seen over 20 different chiropractors all across Europe. Interesting fact is that he was fitted for a retainer for his teeth and it actually changed how his low back feels. X-rays reveal a huge imbalance and a gigantic growth off the back of his head. So let's jump right in. Frank, Yeah. I'm 39 and a project engineer. Project engineer, gotcha. So I have issues with my lower back since more than 20 years and I tried all the adjustments, massage, needles, heat, cold, everything and it's only temporary. It's gotcha. one week, two weeks. So you've seen a ton of chiropractors or a sort of chiropractors, osteopaths. They call them all sorts of different things in, in Germany. I had back pain so much that uh, one of my friends who played volleyball with me one time he had like braces, plastic braces in, and I said, what happened? Why do you do? Then I went, then he said I had pain on my Achilles, and with the teeth fixed, he fixed his neck, and then also his Achilles. And Everything felt better by just wearing this retainer. Yes. This plastic retainer he had. And so he goes, <laughs> let's try it. So what happened when you did it? Because he was going to chiropractic for that, they were giving him temporary relief, and he put this apparatus on, he went to goes, let's try it, I'll try anything. Yes. And what happened after that? So. Uh, Two weeks later, I already felt 80-90% better. Yeah, just from changing the orientation of his teeth. Why, guys? I've talked about this in many other videos because the teeth are intimately connected to the neck. It's just a bunch of bones, just like your neck. So the way you crimp down on your teeth, the way your jaw moves, affects your neck, which does what? Affects your brainstem, which does what? Affects your balance. And so why are you here if that helps so much? Because I still can't do what I could do before. When I was like 20, I wanted to do more sports, more running, more football, volleyball again. But if I do that now, I know the days after I suffer. I try to find somebody like you in Europe. They do it similar, but not with an intensive core uh, class so often and so on. So I said, okay. Yeah. Uh, I have to get this on camera too. Uh, I did his exam yesterday. And so um, I'm going to the exam and he said, he just goes, whoa. This is way different than every doctor I've ever seen. What did you say to me yesterday? It's much stronger. <laughs> much stronger. Look yeah. at how small I am compared yeah. to him. And though he says, uh, what did you said you were scared after? Yes, my, a little bit. A little because bit. normally I'm not scared because I know what they're doing. I don't mind the neck adjustment and so on. But mm -hmm. I never had somebody really pushing that hard. Uh, weight loss. You guys are going to say he's a fatty and he has lost tons of weight over the years. He's gone up and down. And how has weight loss helped you or not helped you? It was a little bit better, but because you, you could do sports better, but the issue was not Not fixed, at all. exactly. We have tight neck, you have neck tight, and the big thing for him is he had a big TMJ problem. Tell us about your TMJ problem. So I uh, grind my teeth at night, yeah. so when I wake up, I, I feel my muscles because they are biting in the night. For 20 years or just recently? No, I think I have it for 20 yeah, yeah, years. Yeah. He says he sleeps like a rock, yes. but he also sleeps what? On my belly. On your belly. Yeah, no matter how much he tells, he, he tries not to. Tell us about the acid reflux. I have it when I have a lot of stress at work, but I also have it like at least once a month. Oh, Sylvia, by the way, he tried to call you, you didn't answer his phone. <laughs> okay. She'll watch, she'll watch. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. Okay, so uh, anything else you want to share, sir? I think no. that's pretty much it. No. Gotcha, so we're gonna take a look at his range of motion, see how he's doing. Bend over, touch your toes as best you can. Tell us any tension in your back or legs or back, anything. No, just here. Just there in the back, no tension in the back, go and stand up. He has a very, very, very high pain tolerance, so it's going to be tough to get him to elicit pain here, but we're going to do the best we can. So I'll go back like this. Any tension in your low back, sir? No. No? Okay, with your neck, look at the floor. How about that? No. And look at the ceiling, please. How about that? No. You can see really, really poor range of motion going in extension. Uh, now squat to the ground, too, please. Tension your knees, your back? Nothing. Gotcha. So a second ago, he said there was a little tension, but we'll just go with zero. And so we're just going to have to take his word on how he's changing, but again, he wouldn't pay all this money, come this far, if he didn't have an issue. Ready to go, dude? Yes. Good. Frank the Tank is adjusted on camera today. Uh, X-rays wise, um, like I said, not much TMJ issue on him. Um, he has a huge noggin on the back of his uh, head. Big old EOP. Uh, and he has an accessory little joint on the top of that. It's, little, it's more growth on the top of that point. Tells me he's had terrible posture for a number of years. Um, the atlas is horizontal, about a half wear on the atlas. 
Um, he doesn't have a ton of degeneration in his back. He also mentioned that most of his chiropractors said how much he has a rotated sacrum. I didn't yes. see that at all. Um, it looks pretty straight to me. Uh, he doesn't have much of scoliosis in his back. Pretty straightforward for a neck issue. And so, um, anyways, check those x-rays out. Okay, Frankie's x-rays revealed 10 millimeter imbalance and 9 degree spinal curve. Here we have 11 millimeter short left leg and 8 degree spinal curve. Here we have one half atlas wear, high neck reversal, and a massive EOP, I mean big one, and pretty clear lumbar x-ray here. By looking at his x-rays, I surmise that I think it's him doing the damage to his body. Meaning his poor posture, what he does, how he works, how he plays sports. And so we're going to have to address that as we loosen things up here. Oh, he's a chronic self-adjuster. That's what I was trying to say earlier. How many times do you self-adjust today? Today? No, I mean, uh, when you self-adjust, do you every once hour, day. once oh. an hour, twice an hour? 10, 20. 10, 20 times? An hour or? A day. A day, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let this go there. Good. Yeah, this. Good. <sighs> How was that? Good. Similar to what you've had before? Kind of. Kind of. Gotcha. That side is a little extra tight on that side, definitely tight. Okay, when you get up in a second, remember what I always say in the videos, what? Don't twist and turn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, lifting Frank up here. He's been watching my videos for years. So as you can hear, he already knows what's going on to a certain extent. So we're just letting him get comfortable here. We're gonna see how he's doing, get his first impression. And it's always interesting for a fan to sit here and tell us back what he's feeling. So let's listen in and see what he's doing. I have like heat. Heat coming to my neck and to my face. Interesting. Heat. And I felt a small shiver over my complete body. A shiver, like chills, kind of thing. Yeah, a small chill. Just interesting. I haven't had that um, that uh, observation before. How about lightheaded? A little bit. A little bit. Gotcha. Good. Yeah, not much. Okay, guys. Just a quick walk down the hall to recalibrate the spine. See how the neck adjustment plays out in the whole spine. Down. In the I have a little bit of pain in my jaw now. Okay, interesting. But I didn't have it before, so this interesting. is interesting. And what I always say, I don't know if you remember what I say this, I go, any change is a good change. Yeah. So now that we're changing something, that we want to see change, guys. The worst thing you do in chiropractic is adjust somebody and they go, I don't feel anything. Because we're not getting anywhere. So we're getting somewhere where we see some change. Good. Step back just a tad. Let's go through the range of motions. He didn't have any pain in any of these. We're just going to do it for GP's sake. Go ahead and bend over, touch those, please. Okay. Any difference there? No? Less tension. Less tension. Okay, yeah. this way. How about that? Well, so a little bit less tension. A little more flexibility, yes. gotcha. Look at the floor, please. Good, and look at the ceiling. That's definitely better. That's only what I was what I was worried about. Spread your feet a tiny bit, and squat. It's like, it's easier, but it's, yeah. it's still but What I um, noticed, guys, and again, I'm not trying to put words in his mouth, what I noticed, he had a little more strength. He got up a little quicker, and look, look a little bit more uh, stout on that. But good first day. Uh, thanks for letting this video tape. Anything else, Michelle? I'm happy. Good. Thank you. Good. Perfect. See you guys.